hey guys welcome to another youtube video today now today's video i'm going to be showing you how to transfer files from your phone to your pc or from your pc to your phone all right so the first thing we're going to be doing here is uh, there are two methods actually so you can either use zender or you can use itunes so you get so i'm going to be showing you how to use zender first of all and this method can also work with even if you're using an android device or um, iPhone, alright. So, I'm going to show you how to transfer from your phone to your laptop using Zender first of all. Before I will show you how to use iTunes, alright, because the iTunes is going to require you to download um, the app. So, let me show you how to um, transfer using Zender. So, first thing I'm going to do is go to your browser, anything you have there, just select an account and open a new tab. Alright, so on your phone here, go to Zender. Then uh, you, you see this plus button there where you'll be asked to connect to PC. Alright, this can also work with um, Apple computers, you know, the MacBook, and also with any version of um, the Windows PC. So you can connect to PC like this, and uh, they'll say on your computer, open the web address below. So before then you have to first connect to the computer using um, hotspot and wi-fi already so what you have to do is on your hotspot here and the wi-fi here like this all right so after connecting go back here again and add connect to pc all right so now you'll be asked to they'll be like on your computer open the web address below so right here here on your pc you have to input this address here so we have one so what you have to do now is just to tap on enter all right and to show you something like this so you say please uh, please click accept on your phone in order to connect this device all right so here to show us to click accept then automatically we can see everything on the phone on your laptop here so you can just move any file, you can move images, alright, you can move um, videos, you can move something, anything. So let's say you want to move an image, all you have to do is just select download here, alright, and, and you see it here, it will, be, it will be downloaded to your PC without data. Because for um, iPhone, for you to own your hotspot, you must have your data on, but that does not mean it is using the sub to download all right on android you can on your hotspot and you can connect to the laptop without data and to work without data all right so you just download anything you want if it's videos here you can select this and click on download here all right and you just see it. so when you go to your downloads on your laptop here you can see what you can either show in folder or anything because you can open it and you see what you downloaded from your phone so so you can mark as many stuff as you want and download move them to various section in your pc all right so that is very very simple and easy just have it connected music everything and as well you can move from your pc to your phone so right here to upload an image to add an image to from your pc to your phone all you have to do is just you select upload image here Right, then any image at all you have from your PC you want to move into your phone this method you can do it let's say take some pictures here I have my desktop or right, I just go to where your photos are from your PC or, or just from any file and click you can select as many as you want and click on open and it will be sent to your phone directly same thing applies to Android device all right so this method is very very simple and time friendly in fact you don't need to connect the code all right it's like it's just wireless you just copy the address to your pc and you are done with that all right so i'm moving on to the next method which is connecting with itunes but this one requires you know a like a nice usb code just any usb code do can work as long as it will show on your pc before then i'll give you the link of um, itunes um, in the video description below this is the app here itunes all right so you have to make sure you have this app on your pc already then you connect with your phone all right these are the interfaces 
so you can go to your browser and search and download itunes for let's say your window is a windows 11 itunes for windows 11 your bit is 64 bit or 32 bit also you get just do it like that if you want to know your the bit of your pc just go to the settings all right then you go to about okay go to about your pc so you now see how many bits like mine is 64 bits pc all right so you see everything about the pc so you know the the type of items to download so to download the item it, it will take about five minutes if you have a fast internet connection to download and install the app so after installing it it will take some processes then you, you will just have the app here you can pin it to your uh, bar here all right then open up the app like this so the method to connect uh, your pc to your phone and your phone to your pc you know to transfer files you need a, a usb cord then just it's like this all right once the laptop can see your phone then everything is okay all right so once you see this phone phone um, icon here meaning your phone is connected to the pc for example i remove the cord here now you see that it will, it will be there so when you connect it back you will see that your phone will show up here so just click on cancel here and tap on the phone all right so you see things about the phone the capacity the phone number serial number everything about the phone so i'll be blocking it in this video because of security reasons and then um, so you now check on file sharing you select file sharing here so to move files from your lap um, laptop or pc to your phone um it will be through your files your files app all right so this files app have several apps like have several files which are um, chrome vlc and zender so same thing is showing here so to move files from from the pc to the phone you have to move them into chrome for example or vlc or zender depending on where you like so let's for example i want to move this um this these four images here all right and um, this is chrome so to move it to chrome you have to select chrome first as you can see chrome already had two um files there so just select the image like this and move them in so as easy as that and it will be moved immediately so when you select go back here again sorry my my iphone select chrome you will see those images that are here as you can see all right the images you can see them here so to move from the phone now let's say i want to move this movie here all right i want to move this movie so all i have to do the movie is this one here this is the final movie so all i have to do is paste it like this to my piece outside all right it might just be, be loading like this but it's, it's already moving so just give it a few seconds or maybe one minute depending on how big the file is and you see that it's been moved to your pc okay so as you can see the moving now is on my laptop here from the phone all right so it's very easy to move files it's not that hard as you can see i'll move you my pc so you can uh, so let's say this these uh, photos i moved here you won't see it on your photos when you go to here you won't see it here all right so all you have to do is just let's say this this um, photo here i want to like save it my photos just click on share all right then click on save image then you have it on your photos when you go to your photos you see it here all right so it's as simple as that so <clears throat> when you are done you can just click on done here and disconnect so the link to this itunes app i have it um, in the video description below please go down to download it please like this video and um, comment on any errors you have and i will do where to reply you as soon as possible and please leave a like and share this video and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this and um, i will see you on my next video peace